My brother-in-law is here. And I'll tell this quick story. When he went through the academy, he had a lot of context going in as a recruit, as a lot of people have, from taking our training before they go in, listening to the podcast. We talk about this stuff publicly because it's important to preserve life. So he tells me a story in one of his final practicals in his police academy. I said, yo, are they letting you guys do passenger side approaches? Are they, are they, are they teaching them to you? He goes, no, nah, they're teaching driver's side only. This is like 2021. And I'm like, no shit. He's like, yo, can I tell you a story? I go, yeah. The scenario is the guy in the driver's seat's gonna get out of the car in his sim fucking gun suit, right? And and he's gonna start shooting at you as you approach in the driver's side. And they wanna see how you're gonna react, what you're gonna do, if your response time's fast enough. That's the whole practical exercise. So his last name starts with Ness, so he's one of the last ones to go. They went in alphabetical order. He steps out of the car and he hears his brother in law. And he walks around the back of the car, as I've explained it to him, and he starts slicing the pie outwards. The dude jumps out of the car for the 37th time and can't find him. And my brother-in-law puts three sim rounds in his fucking chest. Out of roll, out of roll. Where is he? I'm over here. One recruit out of 37 or 38 recruits survived in that scenario. It is the only one who employed a passenger side approach. Even the fucking instructor didn't know where he was because they're so ingrained to predict where you're gonna be. So stop being so fucking predictable.